My name is Jenna Pallant, and I'm a style crazed full-time creative living in sunny San Diego. In 2016, my husband and I purchased our forever home, and now in between balancing my upholstery business, our four dogs, and just life in general, I'm going to renovate our home room by room, project by project myself, with some fun help from a few of my friends along the way. And I'm gonna share it all with you right here on YouTube. So, are you ready to see a room bloom? Hey there, color lovers, and welcome to a special Thanksgiving episode of Room Bloom. I am officially counting down the days until I can gorge myself with mashed potatoes, turkey, and my oh-so-favorite green bean casserole, which means I need to prep the tablescape in our dining room, which is one of the many rooms left in our brick ranch-style home to renovate. But just because I haven't renovated our dining room space yet doesn't mean our Thanksgiving celebration has to lack in the color department. So today I'm going to show you how to decorate an unrenovated room for that turkey Thanksgiving feast. Before I decorate any space, I like to start with a clean canvas first. So find something appropriate to clean the top of your table surface. And then while it dries, well, I like to use a car table for a prep area for my decor items. That way I'm not dirtying up the space I just cleaned. To start decorating my tablescape, I personally like to lay out all the placemats at each setting. That way I know exactly how much space I have in the center of the table for my decor items. A few years back, I used Cinderella pumpkins as the centerpieces, but that proved to be a bit pricey. So this year, I decided to opt for something I can use again and again. I ended up going with these velvet pumpkins by Etsy shop Your Heart's Content. And even though it was an investment this year, I don't feel guilty about it in the long term since they can be used again next year and the year after that and so on. I went with the rainbow varietal, shocker, I know, and I am so beyond pleased with both the bold hue of each color and the overall craftsmanship. Well done, Your Heart's Content. Then it's time to set each individual place setting which was actually my responsibility every holiday growing up as a kid and is very much like layering in fashion. You first put down the main plate, then a drinking glass of your choice, an appetizer bread plate, and then silverware, or in this colorful case, rainbowware. Topping it off with those napkins I prepped earlier, then some festive salt and pepper shakers, last minute felt garland, and voila! You've got yourself a colorful tablescape in a room that isn't so colorful. I hope you've enjoyed this special Thanksgiving episode of Room Bloom Color Lovers. I am so thankful to each and every one of you who has taken the time to subscribe to my channel in one year's time. Please share my YouTube channel with your family and friends this holiday season. And be sure to stay tuned to Room Bloom on Black Friday for a special Christmas edition episode. I'm going to decorate not one, but two holiday trees in our family room and home office. Until then, have a wonderful Thanksgiving, y'all.